Howdy people, and I'll be here. This is my solo walkthrough and guide to the level 11 heroic quest made to order on the elite difficulty. Enjoy. Hi everyone, Warjack here. This is a classic free to play quest in House Kundra. You want to pick up this quest by going over to the bank. This quest happens in the timeline after the quest of uh, the Vault of Night. So next to this cabin over here, you can walk up these stairs. You can also come up from the stairs that lead up to the bank. And here you have a quest giver. You click on the iron golems, they, uh, they show off. Yes, then you have to step into the Black Anvil Forest. The other question here is Relic of the Sovereign Host. Sovereign Past, whatever it's called. So yeah, beware of this lava, it actually does damage. I mean, it's actual lava, so unless you have high fire resistance, it'll take damage. Okay, so here we go. One of Haywire's trademark speaking stones is embedded in the wall here. It appears to be beckoning you. So this quest is basically like the continuation of uh, it's the sequel to Vaughn 4. So again, Haywire is up to something and we're trying to get him out of it. So yeah. And now this quest is kind of linear where it keeps on looping around but you have the option to go through the center room and jump down and then change the order but if you want to do it all in order without having to backtrack or get mixed up or whatever it is, try not to fall down or you might be looking for like the one place you missed. Okay, part of these tracks are like electrocuted and also part of the tracks are missing. There's breaks in the tracks, but you can just jump from track to track. I recommend jumping a bit on an angle so you don't overshoot the track. Again, if you do fall down, it's not a big deal. You can continue from there. And another thing to note is this quest is littered with these traps. Tons of elemental traps. Uh, usually there's like one box and it disables all the traps. Uh, whatever you do, do not run through all the traps unless you can take the, all the damage because uh, you're probably going to explode. Also, I don't know where the trap boxes for this one is. That's weird. Ah, here. Generally speaking, the trap box is before the traps, but not all. Okay. If you do go for all the traps, you should get a nice uh, hefty bonus to your XP because of the amount of traps you disable. I will say that these traps are probably strong enough that if you don't have evasion and a good reflex save, there is a good shot, good chance you'll be one shot. So, um, maybe not a good idea to do this quest uh, on Elite if you can't uh, evade it or fuck up the damage with like uh, resistance. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, so now we're looking for these crests. There's, I think, four of them. And they're in these rooms. So basically, if you stay on the right main path, there'll be these little offshoots. You go down, and they're all basically the same thing. You pick up a crest, and then it triggers a whole bunch of golems. So you then fight and kill and get for some op optional XP for. So iron golems and clay golems. Be wary of the clay golems. They can hit you with a curse, like the play golem over here is cursed for some reason. I don't know why. They're still fighting each other. Yeah. 
Once uh, you're hit with a curse, you can, now, you can no longer hear unless you have removed curse. Mind you, it's not time. It doesn't go off over time. You have to like remove curse to be able to heal. Okay, let's move on. I think that rooms that are, have the optional crests all have like a, mouth, a speaking mouth next to it. So if you have two doors, you're not sure which way is the main path and which way is the crest. I think with the mouth should be the one that has the crest in it. Overall, this quest is pretty straightforward. I do recommend having heavy fortification at least. Because, uh, well, these dwarves, some of them have uh, they have heavy picks. And that's a plus four to crit range. Also, there's a shrine here, just in case you haven't already. Please hit like and subscribe. Thank you. Yeah, this shrine is locked. I don't think there's a key for it. So, unless you've got pick lock, you're not getting into this shrine. Don't worry, there's another one. Okay, and now we're at the bottom. So you see, if you would have fallen down at the beginning, you could have just started from here and just walked back up and got that crest who's in that hallway. Uh, these iron golems all heal from uh, fire. So them standing in the fire is actually healing them. So, yeah, they're not taking damage. Um, this lava is not considered deep lava. So if you just got normal fire resistance, you should be okay. Uh, that being said, I don't know if all of it is just regular lava. There could be this deep lava someplace. In which case, still... I wouldn't recommend just running around uh, without being careful. Okay, here we get the second crest. Okay. Yeah, some of these golems are like wandering around in the lava. It might be hard to go get them. But as you can see, I'm not taking any damage from this lava because I've got fire resistance on and it's plenty good enough to uh, avoid taking any damage. Okay, so yeah. That was the offshoot on this bottom floor. We got the crest over there, and now we're going to continue this hallway. All of these doors in this quest are all the kind that you click, and a few seconds later, they close. Yeah, all the doors in the quest, except for the last door, all have a lever on both sides, so even if the door closes, you can still open it from the other side. Also, I've noticed that the triggering of these, uh, yeah, these traps kind of uh, farther away from the trap than you would expect, though. So you might think you're safe and actually they just go off, so just be aware of that. Again, I think that they're all energy uh, type traps, so having uh, absorb, uh, having resistance and absorption, not absorption, I mean, uh, yeah, basically elemental, uh, Absorption, where you take, uh, I don't know, points of elemental damage first. That can help you out a lot. So again, you know which way do you go first? So, it should be like a mouth over here, yes. This tells you that this is the optional hallway. Play golems are all, they have 50% absorption against all elements, so if you're a pure elemental caster, 
gonna suck up some of the energy. Not sure what's that what's worse, that or the iron golems who heal from fire. I've got this uh, red I uh, got this uh, what's it called? The Sonic uh, wand from uh, the red fence. It's endless and it's great to use against breakables. So yeah, we got ourselves our next quest. And we're moving on. If you look on the map, you can see that there's like a dead end. You can tell that this is a small contained room and it's not like part of the path. You need to go in here, I guess, uh, if you want the boss. If you're doing this for the first time, so the map will not be open, and as you go along the hallway, you'll be able to see where you were and where you weren't. Even though it loops over, it's pretty clear where you were. Um, in this case, I had to prep. I did a previous run together with my buddy Eshom, and I opened up the entire map. I also took some uh, pictures for the thumbnail, and yeah, so now. Uh, the map is all pre-open, but I can tell where it's lighter or darker when I look on the map. That way I can tell if I was there or not. That's the breakables. Yeah, clay golems uh, heal from acid. And this sword is not acid. It's just a cosmetic. It's the Insanity Greatsword base cosmetic with uh, an enhanced uh, acid on top of it. I'm just refreshing all of the, uh, my buff. I've been collecting potions of resist energy 30. And I've got massive stacks of them, so. Now's the time to use them. Here there's different places where you can cross over from track to track. Each track has its own hazards. Like over here there's all these uh, crates or carts on the tracks. Making it hard to pass. Also be aware there's some places where there's like a gap in the track so. If you're mindful of it, you'll make sure you won't fall. So basically this quest, as long as you're doing it in order, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's, it's yeah, it was designed in a linear fashion, then opened up a bit so you can you know change your order of the quest. But it's basically still linear. And this can be a big problem if you're only melee and you don't have a way to deal with traps. Uh, when you have to fight things and they stand inside of the traps, they seem to not be phased by the traps for some reason. But you are, and then you're like uh, forced into a very awkward place. Maybe you're retreating down the hallway and letting them to get out of the trap range would be the best, best course of action. You've got another one of these doors with a uh, with the mouth next to it. So I can I know already that there's going to be a uh, well another one of those crusts inside. So there's extra XP for killing the clay golems and iron golems. And yeah, now we just continue on the path and we end up at the end of the quest. Based off the breakables, I can tell which way I'm going. 
That means I'm looking at the breakables. Did I do them or not? And if I did them already, so like, oh, I've been down that hallway already. Like many of these uh, free-to-play uh, classic quests, they are a little bit lower on XP versus other quests at the same level. And also, sometimes they can be a little bit harder for new players. So yeah, but as long as you know what you're doing, not too bad. And yeah, here we are back in this main hall. Okay. Here's a side room. And again, here's a, well, shrine if you need it. This is a, this is the free shrine that everybody gets. The other one was locked. Yeah, and here you've got to be aware. I think there's a break in the track over here. Yeah, you see? The track is cracked. Basically, you're supposed to pass from track to track to avoid electricity or whatever. Just run through it. And here's all the sockets we need to fill with the crust we picked up. This final hallway is littered with traps. And it also loops around. It goes around in circles. Basically, it goes around and around and around and around. And we're just going to descend deeper and deeper. But it's just a repeat of whatever we had before. So there's nothing really new here. It's just... Yeah, stick on the path until you get to the end. Avoid blowing yourself up on traps. At this point, you already killed all the iron golems that you need for the optional. So, whatever you're killing now is just for the uh, ransack and for the onslaught, whatever it is. The killing bonuses. Running out of uh, my buffs again. Okay. So finally we have arrived. So like I said before, this door uh, has only a switch on one side. And just like all the rest of the doors, it closes. So if you want to walk in, you can run back out, but if you wait too long, it'll close and you'll be stuck. Once you engage him in battle, it will trigger the rest of the golems. For some reason, I like going for the other golems first. It's not like if you kill them, they'll end the quest, though. As you can see, yeah, this door's locked. Well, it just closed, so if there's... If you leave a hireling on the other side of the door, the hireling should be able to open the door for you. Or other party members. It's not like it locks the quest or something, it's just... You can no longer open it from this side. Yeah, overall, not too hard. However, if you don't have good damage reduction, if you don't have a way to get past this damage reduction, I think you need Chaotic uh, to get past this damage reduction. Yeah, you'll, you might be doing like chip damage and suffering. First time I did this, I was in here forever. I had to cheese it by standing out in the hallway and shooting him with like wimpy arrows and doing one or two points of damage each hit until eventually he died. Haywire stands in the center of the room. 
Right arm gleaming in the light. It appears that the genius inventor has experimented on himself. Yeah, there you go. All in all, it's not a too bad. If you are, however, a character who doesn't have any way to deal with traps, or every time you run into a trap, you like blow up, yeah, you're gonna be miserable doing this quest by yourself. So that's basically uh, it. Yeah, stick to the track. Try not to fall off. Should be fine. Pretty linear. Yeah, there we go. If you are a free-to-play character and you need a house contract favor, so this will be definitely one of the quests you'll be doing to get some extra house K favor. You want to get your second set of bang slots. Yeah, that's it. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. And yeah, I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye.